Clip trimming is a technique you can use in your editing to easily change the portion of a clip on your timeline, altering its content but not its duration. Let's take a closer look. When we trim a clip, most of us think of using these trimming handles which appear when the clip is selected. By dragging in or out, we can alter the start and end frame of our clip, choosing which parts of our video we like best, and in turn, the ideal length of the clip on our timeline. But what if we'd already carefully placed a clip in our project where we timed it to perfection as part of a sequence of clips and simply decided later on that we wanted to change the contents of the clip with footage we'd previously trimmed off. Well, to choose different frames from the same clip, we could of course select the clip and use the trimming handles to change the media here by dragging, say, the second half out, trimming the original media off. Now we see different visuals from the same clip on the timeline. The challenge with this as part of a more complex or carefully crafted sequence is that you might find yourself having to carefully retime the clip to fit it back into the story, along with, of course, the voiceover, music, and any other clips on the timeline. However, there is another way to trim your clips in these scenarios, and that is to use the slip trimmer tool, which enables you to adjust the start and end frame of your clip without affecting the duration of the clip in the timeline. So you can see here when my clip is selected, I can tap the slip trim icon and my clip will appear in the preview. This highlighted section tells you which part of the clip is currently on the timeline. I can change this by dragging this active area of the slip trim left or right, adjusting the in and out points of the clip in one go, meaning when I let go of my finger on the screen, the content in the clip changes on the timeline. We can see the content has changed in the timeline by scrubbing or playing the clip through. Let's do that again. So we tap the clip, tap the slip trim icon and move the highlighted area to our preferred portion. Holding the slip trimmer down closer to the in point will display the first frame in the preview while you trim. Pressing closer to the out point displays the last frame while you trim. This helps you carefully choose the frames of your clip that you want to use, ensuring you get the exact point into the timeline. If you want to get really specific, or if you're working with a longer clip that makes it harder to see what media you're choosing here, you can use the playhead to help you. Play or scrub through your clip to a specific frame and swipe down on the preview to set the in point or swipe up to set the out point. It's worth taking the time to really have a good practice with using the slip trim tool because when you need it, it's going to save you a ton of time.